All right, so 24 hours, 24 pounds of catfish. Um, stipulations are uh, each fish must weigh at least one pound. This lake is full of these tiny little sub one pound fiddler catfish, so I don't want to mess with any of those, it'd be too easy. So, you know, this, this lake, it, it holds uh, anywhere from, you know, smaller channel cat. I think the biggest channel cat I've caught here, but about 12 pounds, 11 and a half, 12 pounds. Biggest flathead I've caught here is about 13 and a half. Um, so, you know, if I get lucky, uh, I could finish this challenge up, uh, or part one of this challenge, up, you know, in just a couple hours. However, the catfishing has been extremely slow here for the last week or two because it's been super hot, uh, you know, sort of dead of summer. Um, fishing's been real tough. That said, I'm out here, it's almost 8 p.m. I'm gonna go 8 p.m. tonight till 8 p.m. tomorrow is, is my uh, cutoff point. Um, I'm fishing in Iowa. So I've got two rods, plus uh, I bought the third rod option, so I can always use up to three rods. I mentioned that uh, I mentioned part one of the challenge. So my goal, my hope is that this part will be pretty easy. 24 pounds in 24 hours. I should be able to accomplish that without too much trouble. If I do, I move on to 50 pounds in 24 hours. If I pull that off. I'm gonna go to a hundred pounds in 24 hours. Not all on the same day. I mean, I'm not gonna do all three challenges in one day and just keep going, um, unless the fishing's just insane, which I doubt is gonna be the case. Um, but so for now, it's it's, it's almost eight o'clock here, so I gotta start rigging up my poles. I'm gonna do a combination of techniques just to see what works. Right now, I'm out in some deep water. As it gets a little darker. Well, on, on more towards dusk, I'll start moving in shallower. Uh, I'm going to drift a little bit. <clears throat> I'll anchor up and, and uh, do some bottom rigs for a while. We'll just, we'll just see what, if anything, is working. I've got some, uh, some sunfish, which I can use for live bait or cut bait. I even brought some chicken, <laughs> just in case I run out of bait. So i got some chicken thighs, uh, which I can cut up. I have no doubt I'll catch some channel cat. The question is how big and how many. So, 24 pounds, 24 hours, that's the goal for phase one. All right, got a couple of rods out here, just sort of drift fishing on sort of a modified Santee rig. Modified meaning um, put together with what I had on hand. So we'll drift these a little while. The wind is uh, sort of pushing me along at a nice gentle half mile an hour or so. Uh, marking a few fish down below. Not sure what they are, but I'm starting off actually with these chicken thighs, just out of curiosity. I'm probably gonna end up with salmonella or something, but uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so, so far I've been out here about an hour. Uh, I've tried drifting, tried anchoring, and bottom rig, uh, one bite, no fish. So, gonna move areas, hopefully things will work out better in the next spot. Alright, hopefully you all can see this. It's about six and a quarter pounds. Uh, nice channel cat, first one of the night. Actually snapped a rod, which I broke last night, and uh, and you know semi repaired reeled this guy in found someone else's hook and sinker hanging out of his mouth too so uh at least i was able to get the guy in so it's a nice one six and a six and a quarter pounds all 
Alright. I'm gonna see if I can get the release on this guy. Ooh, he's ready. He's ready. Off he goes. Okay. So, second channel cat of the night. Not quite as big as the first, but way more of a pain in the butt. He, uh, he got himself all the way wrapped around the anchor line. I had to actually pull the anchor line up in order to land this guy. Total pain in the butt. This guy is ready to go back in the water. Okay, probably won't be able to see it very well. There he goes. Ready? Go ahead there, buddy. I know that was a long one. That was a long battle. There you go. All right, so that last fish uh, really kind of tore things up. He actually wound himself like at least five or six times around the anchor rope, um, apparently once for each pound of weight. Um, so I finally uh, ended up having to pull the anchor up just to land the fish. Um, but I did get him in uh, about five and a half pounds. So. I'm now just under my uh, just under halfway to my 24 pound mark. I've been out for a couple hours now. It's getting real hard to see, and these bugs are tearing me up. But uh, so it bodes well. Um, and uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. All right, fixing to head into the home cove here. Now here comes the homestead. Kind of hard to see on the camera. All right, so it's the next morning. Um, it's about 6:30. I intended to get up a little earlier, but I was sleeping cozily. So where I left off last night, I was at um, 11 and three quarter pounds on the 24 pounds, 24 hours challenge. So I figure um, this morning is probably my best bet as far as having a shot at, at finishing this thing off. Before the boat traffic gets too high, I should be able to have a little bit more mobility. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to, you know, avoid some of the spots I might otherwise do. Um, all right, so I'm all set up here at the first spot of the day. Uh, I got my lines out. I've got 12 pounds, 12 and a quarter pounds um, to go to finish up this challenge. Just had a pretty good bite on one of my poles, and it stopped. So let's we'll see what happens. See this? 2.8 pounds. First channel cat of the morning. Two point, yeah, about two point eight. Now we'll call it two and three quarter, just to just to uh, make the math easier. So I'm gonna get a quick photo, get them back in the water. There he goes back in the water. Go ahead, pal. He didn't want to come out. There you go. Oh. Little guy. One and a quarter. That's all right, though. My minimum requirement is one pound. Um, the smallest one of the challenge so far. But he's going to bring me up to uh, 15 and a quarter pounds. Yeah. So that's great. Get a quick picture, let him go.
Oh. Oh. Right as I was letting him go, I got real down on him. I got somebody else on here. Tighten up the drag. He might, uh, he's not uh, a monster, I don't believe, but he'll help make up the weight. Right, come up, don't get in the anchor rope. Had that problem last night, and that sucked. Ooh, he's pulling drag now. Get this pole out of the way. I got to look at him. He may be three or four. Quick look. Yeah, he may be three. Ooh, he's pulling drag, though. He's pulling drag. Hey, now. Easy there, fella. Get my net out. Get him in the net. He doesn't want to go in the net. Swim in the net. Swim in the net. Swim in the net. Kind of wound up in the net. Got it. Okay. Well, another non-giant, but uh, but we are making up some weight here. I think I'm going to be able to complete this challenge here fairly shortly. Uh, let me get him unhooked. I'll get him weighed up. All right, three and three quarter pounds. That's gonna help. So what was the last one? One and a quarter. This one's three and three quarters. So together that makes five. So that makes, uh, I think 19 and a half. I don't know. I gotta go back and do all this math up here, but I'm getting close. I'm, with, I'm within a couple of fish. One fish, one more good fish. Ooh, could shut down this challenge. So let's let this guy go. So three and three quarters. He was a lively one. All right, so with those last two fish, which came in rapid succession, and I really need to hurry up and get these poles back in the water because they seem to be biting right now. Um, I believe that leaves me at 19.5 pounds. So uh, another four and a half pounds is all I need to complete this mission. Um, a 24 pounds of channel cat in 24 hours each weighing one pound or more. Oop, I got a bite. I got a bite on my last remaining rod out. Man, that was some fast action for a little while there. Um, ended up having uh, two of my poles out of the water with fish on um, at the same time, which I don't like because, you know, it means they were biting at that time. But I got them both out down to uh, four pounds and I'm uh, sorry four and a quarter pounds left to go to finish off this challenge uh, if I've done my math right there's probably gonna be a lot of little corrections throughout the course of this video where I like correct my math and whatnot but one more fish could do it could take a couple it's still early uh, it's a great time for me to have a cup of coffee while I wait for my next bite also another good tip, um, well probably the first tip that I've given, don't really feel qualified to give too many tips, but um, this morning I have been listening to the Beastie Boys on the boat here, so, you know, does it have anything to do with it? Does it have everything to do with it? You're free to draw your own conclusions. Um, you know, I, I think it's at least helping. All right, got another one here. He's not gonna be the four and a quarter pounds that I need to finish the challenge, but uh, he's, uh, he's gonna be two something. Let me get him weighed up. All right, so, like, call that two and a half. We're kind of rounding most of these fish up and down. Um, he took a circle hook as far down as I've ever seen a, a, a cat take a circle hook. Um, I was able to get it out, hopefully without too much damage. But I'm going to go ahead and get him back in the water as fast as possible. All 
Alright. Time to go home, pal. There you go. Okay, with that last fish, if my math is correct, and I will double check um, before quitting, I now only need two more pounds of fish. Um, so at the rate that or the size these have been going this morning, that's probably one more channel cat, and I'll be able to call it a success. Uh, not 100% sure what time it is, um, but I may be uh, finishing this complete, or accomplishing this challenge within 12 hours instead of 24 and um, that actually includes five or six hours of sleep uh, so obviously I'm gonna have to move on to uh, challenge number two I shouldn't say that right now because I haven't finished challenge number one yet but challenge number two part two of this thing is gonna be um, 50 pounds in 24 hours with each fish being one pound or higher um, so far it's promising I've only been out on the water for an hour or so this morning uh, numbers are better this morning than they were last night uh, the size overall is smaller they're averaging around two two and a half uh, this morning um, that said I only need one more and the challenge will be over and complete and I will be victorious and um, essentially that means nothing because this was a personal challenge nothing at stake and no one really to brag to except my wife and daughter who are kind of tired of this crap anyway so alright y'all I think I got what is going to be the final fish of the challenge Let's see if I can swap ooh there's a nice pole there while I swap hands uh, may not be quite as big as I thought. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. All I need is two pounds. I'll get the scale on him. There you see it. A little over two and a half pounds, almost two and three quarter. That's enough to complete the challenge. In uh, just over 12 hours of real time, um, about six hours or so of fishing time. Uh, hold on, let me snap a photo and get this guy back in the water, and I'll be right back. All right, here you go, back in championship fish. You championship fish, you. Get down there. Get bigger. Okay. So I just rechecked the math uh, using the photos and the entries that I wrote down um, in uh, the Fish and Log app that I use. Uh, it's called Fish Head, Fish Brain, something like that. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Y'all should check it out. Maybe I'll put a link at the bottom. Uh, so, mission accomplished, thumbs up, lessons learned, definitely need to invest in some new rod holders, you know, I'm using these little cheap Walmart specials, um, I've got a couple of them, and they both caused a couple of close calls over uh, the course of today, yesterday, and other days. Um, <clears throat> So I definitely need to get some new and better rod holders. Uh, also want to upgrade a couple of my rods. Had much better luck with the ones that you typically expect to work well with circle hooks. Um, it's a longer rod, uh, faster tip, so you can sort of detect that action a little bit, detect the bites a little bit easier and also help load up the tension on that circle hook and help it set itself. Um, I actually, you know, using the same baits in the same set, with um, a rod that's pretty much got the same um, level of backbone and is slightly shorter versus a rod that's an extra six inches longer and has a much much faster tip action I probably caught uh, two to one um, on the other on the on the longer um, with the faster action part of that's going to be luck of the draw 
but I've noticed that um, also with one of my other poles, which happens to be the one that snapped last night. Um, so it's definitely time to invest in some new rods, uh, more geared specifically towards catfish. And uh, of course, I'm always looking for an excuse to do things like that. Um, something splashed over there, sorry. Uh, so yeah, mission accomplished. Next up will be 50 pounds in 24 hours. I expect that'll be a much bigger challenge, a little bit more grueling, because all I had to do was go fishing for a few hours last night, go home, go to bed, get up in the morning, go fishing for a couple hours this morning, and bingo. Um, that said, the fishing has been tough the last few weeks, so it actually went a little easier than I was fearing that it might. So, with that, I believe I will sign off until my next uh, video slash adventure slash whatever I do. Thanks for watching.